In this question, we have an element of material which is subject to the state of stress. Sigma x is equal to 100 MPa, sigma y is equal to 40 MPa, sigma z is equal to minus 60 MPa, and tau xy is equal to 30 MPa. And also we know that tau yz and tau zx are equal to zero. In part A, our goal is to find the principal normal stresses and the principal shear stresses. Similarly, in part B, we will find the maximum normal stress and the maximum shear stress. Finally, in part C, we will determine the directions of the principal normal stresses and we will show them on a sketch. We will start by finding the center of the circle. Let's call the center A. It will be equal to sigma x plus sigma y over 2, which is 100 plus 40 over 2, and it is equal to 70. Let's say that center of the circle is 70. Now we can find the radius. Radius will be equal to sigma x minus sigma y over 2 square plus tau xy square and it is 100 minus 40 over 2 square plus 30 square and we get the radius is equal to 42.43. Now, we can compute sigma 1 and sigma 2. Sigma 1 will be equal to a plus r. And we know that a plus r is equal to 112.43. Now let's calculate sigma 2. Sigma 2 will be a minus r and it will be equal to 27.58 MPa. We know that this point is sigma 1, this point is sigma 2 and let's show sigma x and sigma y too. This point will be sigma x comma minus tau xy, so it is 100 comma minus 30. And this point will be 40 comma 30. And when we connect these points, we will get the center and it is 70. Now we know that sigma z is equal to minus 60 and it will be equal to sigma 3 so we get sigma 3 is equal to minus 60 mpa we found the principal normal stresses now let's calculate the principal shear stresses we know that tau 1 is equal to sigma 2 minus sigma 3 over 2 and it is 43.78 MPa. Similarly, tau 2 is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 over 2 and it is 86.78. 21 MPa. And finally, tau 3 will be equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 over 2 and it is 42.43 MPa. And show their locations on the circles. This point will be tau 3. This point will be tau 1 and this point will be 
how to. We are done with part A. Now we should find the maximum normal stress and the maximum shear stress. We know that our maximum stress is sigma 1. So sigma maximum will be equal to sigma 1 which is 112.43 MP. And our tau max will be equal to tau 2. And we know that it is equal to 86.21 MPa. We also found the uh, maximum stresses, so we can continue with the part C. Tan 2 theta n is equal to 2 tau xy over sigma x minus sigma y. And it is 60 over 60, and this is 1. So we have theta n is equal to 22.5 degrees. Let's say at the beginning our axis looked like this. Y and x. But now it will look like This and this angle will be 22.5 degrees. Let's draw our element also. We had the shear stress tau xy is equal to 30. We had sigma y is equal to 40 MPa and we had sigma x is equal to 100 MPa and we had sigma z which is minus 60 MPa. Now our element will look like This will be the angle, 22.5 degrees. And our principal stresses, this is sigma 1, which is 112.43 MPi. And this will be sigma 2, which is 27.58 MPa. And again, our Z is minus 60 MPa.